We're gonna need to back up over here, back up, okay, okay. All right, guys, today we're gonna be talking to you about backing up and transferring all your stuff from one Mac to another Mac. We're gonna be talking through topics such as migration assistant, target disk mode, and time machine. First up, let's talk about migration assistant. Now, migration assistant is an app on your Mac and it allows you to transfer all your stuff from your current Mac to your new Mac. Transferring your information to this one. Four hours, 23 minutes remaining. Ah, oh, this has been going all night. It's gonna take, it's gonna take 24 hours. That's the problems with having a one terabyte SSD. You fill it up, it takes forever to take to your new laptop. Now, the cool thing about this app is that it actually runs pretty fast. Over Wi-Fi, you can get up to 43 megabytes a second. That's what I was getting. And um, it does say you can plug in via Thunderbolt 3. However, it didn't actually utilize it but let me show you how it works. So first up, just fire up the, the app and it will log out your system and prepare for transfer mode. On your new Mac, select transfer your information from your Mac, time machine backup or start disk. As long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network, your old Mac will be detected and it will begin transferring. Pretty easy, It's probably the best one actually, just get it going. Next up, we're gonna talk about target disk mode. Now what that does, it allows you to access the hard drive on your old Mac from your new Mac and you're gonna need a Thunderbolt free cable. So to use target disk mode, just go into system preferences, start up disk and select target disk mode. It's gonna reset your computer and you're gonna have a floating icon on the screen just waiting for you to connect. Once you plug in the Thunderbolt free between your old and your new Mac, you'll be able to access it. This is on target disk mode and this is me trying to transfer the information. As you can see, it's got a lot of hours remaining Previously, I was using Migration Assistant, and that version was um, tra transferring at about 50 megabytes a second. This one's a bit very, very slow. I thought it'd be faster. Now, I would have thought this would be a really fast transfer mode, but for me, I was getting really, really slow speeds. Yeah, don't know why. Anyway, next up, we're going to be talking to you about Time Machine. What? The future, the past, Time Machine. Now, in case you're not aware, your Macs come with this app called Time Machine and it's probably the best backup utility you can ever get. And it's, it's, it allows you to back up your system to an external drive or a network drive and it can be done in the background. Just open up Time Machine, select a disk and if you tick backup automatically, it will constantly back up the changes every hour or so. Although I've never noticed any degradation in performance, you can always keep it unticked and back up when you feel like it's needed. Something you should always do is open up options and add in any folders which you don't need backed up. For example, I make sure I don't back up my Steam games and I make sure I don't back up my huge Final Cut Pro cache folder. What? A terabyte. What? Once fully backed up, you'll be able to restore using that same option. Restoring a huge backup over a network attached storage, for example, on my Synology NAS is, has always been a pain. Sometimes the computer would just endlessly stay in the loading backup page. However, after resetting my computer and the NAS drive, it usually shakes it off. Of Wi-Fi, speeds will be slower, but if you connect your computer directly to a NAS using the RJ45 cable, it will double in speed. The fastest way I found restoring a backup is using an external SSD drive. Now I've got um, one of these USB free SSD drives, and they're pretty fast. They're about 600 megabytes a second. Damn, that's fast. But the problem is backing up your current computer to the SSD drive can be a bit slow. So it depends on how much space you're using, but um, yeah, at least six hours. So it might be just faster to just go ahead with your backup that you've already got, currently got and just get that going. Overall, my recommendation is if you are transferring files and you've got your old computer available, just use the Migration Assistant app because over Wi-Fi speeds, it was pretty fast. And again, over Wi-Fi, no cables, no backing up, nothing going on there. However, if you haven't already done so, make sure you're using that time machine because sometimes your old computer isn't available and it's always good having a backup. All right, guys, hope you found that useful. I got my contract to do. We're going to be backing up some stuff over in some place. Oh, job's cancelled. All right, let's talk about things. How's your day? Do you know, over here in Australia, it's actually Monday now. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? We went to um, Pack Fair today. It's this big, big shopping mall. And um, there, there will be people playing salsa in a restaurant. And these guys, they were doing a little 
conference tour and we stuck into this um, special showing of this film and we stole lots of snacks. What? You don't care about my life? Well, I don't care about yours then. God damn it. Actually, one more thing to mention is if you haven't already fully inspect your new MacBook Pros, I was watching a video by Western Gents United, a really cool YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out. The guy actually does some technical analysis on the stuff he buys, not like the other guys who just repeat specs and waffle. This guy's for legit. And um, he was actually showing me that um, his new Mac actually has um, a bit of design faults on the bottom side of it. It had this huge hole in it where you could put a credit card for all, through. So um, I actually turned around my Mac, my brand new MacBook Pro, and it turns out I've actually got a little, I got a little dink in mine. And I went through my footage because I, I recorded the unboxing. And it, mine actually came with um, a dent. So I was, I was a bit disappointed. So everyone out there who's got a new MacBook, make sure you thoroughly inspect it, take pictures. Apple are cool on the phone. They said they'll, they'll either send me a replacement, that kind of stuff. Obviously, I don't want to go through the hassle transferring over, but make sure you look into it now before, you know, months go by and then you end up um, having to keep a damaged Mac and get Apple Care. It's useful. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. It's useful. My MacBook Pro, this guy, this guy, he's been in repair already. He's had his logic board replaced. He's going to need his logic board replaced again. And they're going to transfer out the battery and replace the keyboard. And this is all within two years. So make sure you get Apple Care. Okay, you could say that maybe these Macs should be more reliable, but on the flip side, I do use this guy to do a lot of intensive things. So I'm not sure whose fault it is. I know when I've had Windows laptops before, they've been very faulty, especially when you push them too much, they're constantly blue screening. So with Apple Care, you, you have that relief if you damage the battery or if your computer needs this logic board, which means SSD, everything replaced, you're, you're protected. It's, it's worth it. Make sure you get Apple Care.